Hello, welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here for part seven. I could just do it like this. Part seven of making my very first Damascus steel sword, my very first sword ever. It's a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, I make videos every single day about blacksmithing and about all the fun things that I do here in the workshop. It's a lot of fun and today we are going to be working on the guard and the tang and how these two interact. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to make this fit up perfectly, get an aesthetically pleasing guard, and most of all bring you on for a really fun day. So we are going with option one, which is exciting, but it's option one with a twist. Here is the guard. We're not just going to mill a rectangular slot in it for just the tang, no. In fact, what we're going to do to allow the blade to go into the guard ever so slightly, I'm going to mill a pocket that's the width of the blade, or the, the width of the blade, as well as the thickness of the blade this way. This pocket is going to go halfway down into the guard, and then from the underside, I will mill a hole that is suited to the tang. If we were to look through the guard, what that would mean is that I would have a pocket like this. Da -da -da -da, tang, hole, pocket. Yada yada yada. So that's the option that we're gonna rock and roll with, which is just fantastic, because now all I need to do is I need to move it and blah, 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 blah. It's early in the morning. I'm still trying to get my brain to, to go and start the gears. Like, pfft, not happening today. What I need to do is I need to square up the tang and make sure that I have a very consistent rectangle to it. I'm also gonna round off the sides of the tang. That way, it'll just fit perfectly with the milled slot. Since the mill, obviously, you know, you mill a slot, you have a round on the end. There's no going back now. I've, I've done it. It's faced off. I can't go back. That's just great because it's perfect. It's exactly what I was wanting to do and I cannot believe that this worked. I put those little bits of wood underneath the file guide and that meant that the file guide was solid. It didn't move. I ground it. I took off all the material. I brought it down to the thinness that I thought it should be. I made sure it's flat. It's even. It's square. It's perfect and I can't believe it. I've taken so much time on this and it is perfect and I am just Thrilled! Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to work on the guard or hilt or whatever you want to call it. We're gonna be making this today. Now the first thing that I'm gonna want to do is I want to make sure that these sides here are parallel so that I can put it in my milling vise like this and face off the top and the bottom, make it perfectly flat before milling the hole that accepts the tan. Best thing about all of this is this 4.1 millimeters thick. Perfect. I've got a four millimeter end mill. I'll throw that four millimeter end mill in there. I'll go along the length that I need to go to. It's gonna be a tiny bit tight. I'll file it to fit. This thing is gonna sit down like just like a, a half a millimeter from the bottom. I'll then be able to just squeeze it down. We'll have a tight fit. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm so pleased. I patience, a little bit of perseverance, a little bit of gusty, gut, gutsiness, all of this, all of these things that are so difficult, it works out. This thing is gonna come together and it's gonna be amazing. Amazing, and I'm gonna be really, really pleased. To the mill!
it's looking good. We got it flat on two sides, which is fantastic. That's awesome. It's gonna be nice to work on something that's perfectly flat. I'm actually pretty confident I'm gonna ditch the idea of the recess in the blade. Because I've got it all squared up so nice, this is squared up, I think I can just have the blade and the tang go straight up and butt right up to this. I think that's gonna look good. I don't think there's gonna be any gaps. I think I can get it clean because of how nice this is now. Now the next step on the project is gonna be putting a four millimeter end mill in, a carbide end mill, and starting to mill the slot. But first, I'm hungry! So we're gonna go get some food! Oh, this is gonna be good food. I know it. I know it. This is sausages, tomatoes, broccoli, carrots, Oh my goodness, this is gonna be amazing. Let us give this a little bit of a go and see how it is. My God, that's good. I'm a really great cook. Mmm. Mmm. Let's get some work done. Blue Dykem, describe myself a center line. This is exactly what I want. I am so pleased that it does not fit all the way up. The reason I'm pleased it doesn't fit all the way up is because I want to make sure I can get it to fit perfectly and I don't trust myself with this stuff. I want to take it slower. So I'm going to take a small file. I'm going to sit in the vise for a, an obnoxiously long time. There's a lot of gap there, which is good. Because this needs to be heated up uh, to be hardened eventually, I, I suspect that you know I need to have it be a little bit tighter than looser. At the end, I can always make any fine adjustments that I need to, but hopefully it's going to be a little bit of a press fit. So that's fantastic. Now obviously this is not at all what the actual guard is gonna look like. I need to shape this, cut it down to the right size, shape it. So my plan is kind of to have it uh, be a little bit shorter than this. I'm gonna work out a proportion that works well with the length of the blade and then to swoop it in, bring it to a peak right about here, swoop it back out, same on both sides. I'm gonna be able to use the contact wheel on my belt grinder to do this. I think that's gonna work well and that's gonna be attractive. In this plane, I'm gonna keep it relatively flat um, and I'm obviously gonna make take great care to keep especially here and here as flat as possible. So I'm gonna be very careful. I'm only gonna to touch those fronts with 120 grit. <laughs> What's up, Sam? How you doing? Ooh. Get kicked by any horses today, Sam? No. None? No. Call that a successful day of shoeing, then. Not done yet. No? I'm gonna go back to work. Uh, how many more do you have to do? Just two. Uh, do you know that there are tables that are a little flatter than the vice? That's a chair, though. There we go. I contributed to that. Ah. Ta-da! <laughs> Look at how sick that guard is looking. I love the shape. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I am super excited. Oh, God! It's one third of the length of the blade, so I think proportionally it's gonna work beautifully. It already looks stunning. I now have a 120 grit belt on the grinder. We're gonna go to 120, then a 240, then to the trizac. See you, Sam. Have a great one. See you later. What do you have to say to the vlog? Head to ForgeBurners.com. Dude, this is my vlog. You, you, you say that on yours. I'm joking, guys. ForgeBurners.com if you want to get yourself an awesome forge and some awesome gas forge burners. So I'm not going to harden it. Now, the reason that I harden this, even though it's not good on edge, is because, like I said in an earlier vlog, um, it's going to have a better contrast after the etch, and the contrast of this will then match what is hardened, which is the blade itself. 
So I'm just going to use the torch because it's going to be nice and fast. Then I'm going to go into the oil, give it a quench, temper it for an hour or two, and then it's going to be ready for the final polish. Oakley dokely. So that is in the tempering oven, and I'm letting that temper. Now I'm going to come in here, and we're going to quickly light the forge. I'm going to light the forge, and I have this little piece of Damascus. Now the pattern is all on the end grain, so I'm going to forge it down so it's basically the opposite cross section. I'm then going to round it off slightly, um, and this obviously is going to be the pommel. So this is very exciting. Let's get this forge lit. Let's hit some hot steel. I haven't done that in a few days. This is going to be great. Everything is always great. It's always fantastic. It's always great. It's always brilliant. Everything's great, and that should be celebrated. So I think it's a great idea to be friendly and give you guys a thumbs up. But I just bun off all of the hair on my arm. Titan, and I'm gonna take this piece, and you know the drill. What we're gonna do is while this forge cools down, so is this little piece of steel. Look at the pattern, you can already see how cool that's looking. So that's the end grain of the same billet that I forged the sword out of. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I really hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have because I'm having an absolute blast. Exciting, 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 exciting. Great, awesome, fantastic, incredible, fun, great, wonderful, just magical, just brilliant. Yes, fantastic. Okay, I think I've got all those words out of my system and I don't need to say them again in this outro. So I'm now just gonna say thank you. I also wanna know what it is that you wanna see us cut up with this sword once it's done. Let us know what you want us to slash and slice and stab. That would be great to hear from you down below. Exciting, 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 great, awesome, fantastic, incredible, fun, great, wonderful, just magical, just brilliant.